All right. So uh, I use uh, follow example, have a release and put name. I put a student name here. Now in the chat, I will ask you to let me know if I want to display David's name now. I want to display David's name now. I need to use get. I need to use get. But the number of it is not one because array starting from zero. Array start from zero. Okay. So can anyone tell me if I want to put a uh, display David's name? Uh, what should I do? What number I should put? All right, put David's name, I need to put two. Yeah, so I'm going to copy this line here and put, does that display David's name? Okay, so I'm going to put like this way right now and I'm going to run my application. Now, the third element is David. We got David's name right now. All right, so we are going to do this. All right, so um, uh, we can do like this. So Angelin, Angelina's name, she is in the list, but we can set uh, Angelina's name to be Fernando. We're going to set Angelina's name to be Fernando. So we are going to do this is we set. Okay, so we can here, then we after this, right? Sorry, after this, then we can do like this way. All right, so we can set, okay, uh, we can, um, do uh, set so we do uh, name name star set and we're going to set uh, Angelina is one is okay Angelina is zero one two and we're going to put Fernando's name so if I put Fernando's name right here okay just a minute All right, so obviously I type wrong. Now I got this right now. Then I'm going to uh, print out the Fernando's name. So this will be um, the second element. And this will be, uh, the second element is one. Is that right? Will become Fernando instead of Angelina right now. So let me run it right now. So I got David, I got Fernando right now. So uh, now this is, um, you know, uh, a radius is dynamic. So the size can shrink and can grow and you can also remove you can remove all right and a bunch of things or uh, array method will be we can add we can add a specific position we can remove all right and we can get the last one all right and uh of course we can use for loop to work with them all right so we uh, uh, we have a very example, uh, very important information I want to share with you is when do you use array, when do you use array list, okay? For most of programming tags, array lists are easier to use array because they are function right there. There are many methods. Array lists can grow and shrink. On the other hand, array have nicer syntax for element assets and initialization. So here are some recommendations to choose. If the size of collection of your collection never change, just use array. 
if the collection your you collect a long sequence of uh, primitive da type data and you are concerned about efficiency and you uh, use array otherwise only use a, everything that's use array list okay primitive is like integer and this and that uh, and uh, 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 integer double and string